If you are trying to jump higher, what is the golden rule? The one rule that if you follow, you're going to keep making progress and never get hurt. It is before you are going to do something, ask yourself, is what I'm about to do going to make me feel better or worse in terms of injury tomorrow? And if you want to do the advanced version of this, when you're going to do your jump day, ask yourself, am I going to be able to bounce back by the next jump day? Am I going to feel better by the next jump day? And my dumbass answered this question poorly. So in my last video, I did a dunk session and it was not a good idea. I actually was not supposed to do a dunk session that day. I was supposed to do drops. And even though I preach, uh, be disciplined and follow the plan, I am human as well. And I make mistakes. And it is the reason why you are seeing me do this slow lift <laughs> on, on this video. Um, so as you can see here, I started with some ISOs and now I'm doing some slow tempo squats. And originally the plan was basically to start a regular training plan, right? Doing the fun stuff. Uh, but I was a little bit banged up coming out of the dunk season. So I just finished literally three months in a row of survival mode. I was not ready for dunk season, but I survived. I did slow lifting these last three months and then I would go do an event. And basically every time I did an event, I would take steps backwards. So I would recover for like two to three weeks, get my knee healthy enough with zero dunking and then go do an event and then start over. And I did that three or four times. I think I had four events over the course of this dunk season. But by the end of the three months, by the end of the summer, I was actually feeling pretty good. And I was supposed to do drops. I went to the basketball court and I was just feeling good. And I over jumped. I kept I, and I, not just over jumped. I had the intensity way too high. And if I hadn't done that, you would have been seeing training that is a lot more exciting than than what you're seeing here. But alas, we live and we learn. Uh, I'm going to give you this this quote. A dumb person doesn't learn from their mistakes. I was dumb. A smart person learns from their own mistakes. So that's what I'm trying to get to. I'm trying to be smart right now. And a wise person learns from other people's mistakes. So please be wise. Use myself as an example and a answer that question correctly, especially if you have a history of any kind of injury, but specifically tendon pain. Ask yourself the question, is what I'm about to do going to make me feel better or worse tomorrow? And as long as you're doing your ISOs, as long as you're doing your slow lifts, you can still do elastic activity. Just make sure that by the next morning, right, 24, 24 hours later after the activity, are you going to, is the pain basically going to go back down to baseline? If it can go back down to baseline, and if you're making progress week to week, then it's an appropriate level of loading. So having said all that, I do feel pretty good now. That session was five days ago. Um, I'm actually almost completely bounced back to how I was feeling before the session, but I'm in no rush. I have no events coming up. I'm going to use this time to, to get healthy and not even to get healthy. The goal is always to get healthy, but I'm not going to rush into dunking and jumping. Um, I really want to just, you know, get back into the flow of training. I'm, t I'm taking the intensity down because quite honestly, competing while being hurt is very stressful. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's, that's my plan um, for the foreseeable future is basically do as much as I can without getting hurt. Um, and we'll see what that, what that means. I'm actually working out today. So uh, let me know if you guys like this type of style of video. I know a lot of you guys missed the training videos. I've been doing a lot of educational content recently, but I think you guys are getting bored of the educational content. And by the way, I don't know if you guys know this, but I actually have a free training course that includes a free week of high intensity training and training for knee pain. That's in the description. So go to the description if you want to check that out. And aside from that, like the video, guys, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.